See, from my point of view, the, the, the word literacy is, has two major kinds of meanings that are very often conflated, very often mixed together. A literate person is somebody who knows a lot about something, and a literate person is somebody who knows a lot about something because they've initially, because they've learned to interpret the world through print, lit as in literature, literacy. Uh, and so literacy is usually thought of as the ability to read and write. And numeracy is the ability to use numbers. The difficulty with thinking about that is that you can have people who in the normal sense don't read and write very well, but they know an enormous amount about the topic at hand. With respect to both Vygotsky and the question of what do we think about literacy in the world, Vygotsky's basic idea was that all human learning is mediated by different kinds of signs and symbols and artifacts of all kinds, human-made things. So to be literate in the world today means to be able to use the various systems of coding and the various, all the various media that are, are that surround us and infuse our lives, in order to be able to learn, in order to be able to interact effectively with other people in their lives, uh, it is not restricted uh, to the acquisition of the ability to read and write an alphabetic system. Um, it extends as we we have this proliferation, as I mentioned before economic literacy, computer, there used to be computer literacy. And even today people will talk about computer literacy where all they really know is how to use the various kinds of symbol systems and app now applications that allow them to use a computer and all of that's going to come back at some point. Its real foundation is human culture and language and written language. The same kind of thing with film. You can, you can appreciate a film at one level without understanding the codes of films and how the film was, is making the meaning that it's making. But if you're literate in film, it brings you a much higher level of appreciation of what the film is about or an appreciation of how crappy the film is uh, because you have really knowledge, in this case, of uh, film itself. And that, I think, is important for, uh, again, for contemporary kids to be able to acquire. So you want you want not to get kids who are really great at um, using their iPhone to make videos and they know how to use editing facilities and to send Instagrams of various kinds. That's all fine. That's learning how to use that those media and those symbol systems to communicate in a particular way. But you want to give broad access to all the different kinds of mediation, all the different kinds of literacy, that is, symbol system mediated forms of interaction that give you knowledge of various kinds that is demanded of world citizens in order to be economically competitive today. I think that just as economically we have a problem where the rich are getting richer, as a general recognition in American society, it's true today. Everybody talks about the 1% and the 99%. The same division is happening in schooling. And everybody decries it, and basically the systems that we work inside of continue to support it. And they support it in part by putting one teacher with 40 kids, 20% of whom would rather be somewhere else, at least 20, you know, 50% of whom would want to be somewhere else, and trying to get them generally literate in the sense that we're talking about here.